Shauna. Shauna hated working on Sunday afternoons. Sundays in a diner were the worst. Nigel said that once she got seniority, she'd set her own schedule. And foolishly, she'd believed him. She'd worked two long years to reach seniority at Nigel's diner. And when Dee Dee got a job at Olive Garden, she became the senior waitress and thought she'd never have to work a Sunday again. But apparently all seniority meant was that she was expected to drop everything and come in to cover for some high school dropout who got high and forgot what day it was for the third time in a row. Not that she hated working at the diner, not most of the time. The diner had a homey vibe, but in a grandmother's formal dining room sort of way, rather than the type of home where you can put your feet on the furniture. It had an expensive enough menu to scare away the cheapskates and bums, and a nice busy spot downtown to make sure she always took home so much in tips that her roommates all thought she was a stripper. So yes, it was a nice gig, on Fridays and Saturdays. On Sundays, she had to deal with the Sunday brunch crowd. They were hard to define because they weren't all one thing. There were Wokies who insisted on debating the ethics of every item on the menu. Don't you have any non-dairy cheese? There were the old ladies with inexplicable red and purple hats who seemed to be in a competition to see who could be the rudest to young people and who could forget the family just crawling out from under COVID for the first time and who didn't seem to remember how to act in public. Order! Nigel yelled, even though Shauna was standing right there waiting for him. He was a big, bald Portuguese guy with a mustache that would make Tom Selleck feel insecure. He placed a plate of chicken and waffles under the heat lamps, and Shauna took it away, filling the last spot on her serving tray. She carried it into the dining room, and the excellent smell of good old-fashioned American comfort food, warred with and ultimately lost to the miasma of cheap perfume and Axe body spray. She approached the table of ladies in pajamas with short hair and plaid-wearing men with long hair and placed the food doling out an automatic, you betcha, or my pleasure, to every equally automatic thank you. The last man was actually wearing a maroon tie over his plaid shirt. He didn't quite meet her eye as he said, took you long enough. Thankfully, Shauna had enough presence of mind to not respond with, you're welcome. She plastered on her best waitress smile and said, I'm so sorry about the wait. He couldn't read minds or he would have heard, one waitress in a 30-table restaurant. You're lucky I served you at all, you self-righteous, penny-pinching dickweed. Bad Ty still wasn't brave enough to meet her eye, but he was brave enough to mutter, shouldn't take 25 minutes to make a sandwich, to her back as she walked away. Sundays. A loud boom sounded from outside. Shauna rushed to the window and saw the stoplights at the closest intersection go out just before the lights in the diner flickered and died. Can't even keep the lights on, said Bad Ty. The lights in the restaurant started up after only a half minute. That was Nigel's generator. The street lights hadn't gone back on yet. Chatter in the diner returned to normal, but Shauna couldn't quite get the loud boom out of her mind. It reminded her of the boom she had heard once on vacation in California. She had thought someone had dropped something huge somewhere in the hotel. It wasn't until she saw the news the next day that she learned it had been a minor earthquake. She had always thought earthquakes made a low rumbling sound, but the locals told her that sometimes they sounded like gunfire. Gunfire. Except it wasn't that either. She'd moved to Austin from a much more gun-friendly part of Texas, so she knew that it didn't really sound like a gunshot. Although now that she thought of it, she'd heard that city streets can alter loud sounds in strange ways sometimes. She couldn't rule out a gunshot. More likely it was an earthquake. But an earthquake in Austin? Did Austin even have earthquakes? The city had been going to hell the last couple years, but it wasn't gunfights in the streets bad, at least not in this part of town. Maybe she'd find out on the news tomorrow. Shauna went back to work and put it out of her mind. The best and worst part of being a waitress was that it kept her busy. She always had to be thinking of four things at once, so she didn't have the mental space to worry about anything else.